Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lazers here and welcome to a tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Wacom Bamboo tablet if you got one. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this little tab right here which is your Bamboo dock and you should have some more icons right down here after you install the drivers from the CD and all that sort but what I want to worry about is just the settings so I'm going to click on this icon right here and then go into my tablet pen tablet properties and as you can tell this little window pops up where I can set all kinds of settings for the tablet so you can change orientation to left handed or right handed if you're left handed like I am then you're going to click the left handed option and then your tablet will be orientated to the other way so your hand won't be sitting on the buttons on here. If you're right handed then it will be the other way around. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the express keys. If you've got the exact same tablet then you're going to have four express keys on the tablet and I'm going to show you how to set them up to whatever you want them to be. So let's just go through the first button, the top button. As you can see it's on touch toggle at the moment which means I can turn off and on the touch bit of the tablet because this is a touch and pen so that means I can use my finger like so to do things and I can also use the pen so what that button lets me do as you can see I just pushed it it turns touch off so now if I pull my hand on it it's not going to work so I quite like that button so I'm just going to keep that it is the second one is bamboo dock I really don't like that so you're going to change that the other one the third button is right click which is not very useful because you can do that with your finger and the bottom one is click so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to control alt z the reason you might just ask why am I want to change it to that you can change it to more useful things yeah you can but I use photoshop a lot so to quickly let me undo things that I do, I can just set the bottom button button to be Control Z. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Keystroke, click on that, and now what I'm gonna do is just hold down Control O and Z. And now, as you can tell it added the keys into the keystroke box so every time I press that button 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 it will press the buttons control Z for me so it will just undo um, if I do some errors so I'm just going to call this control hold Z press OK and let's just test it out if it does work or if it doesn't work so I'm just quickly going to come into Photoshop just gonna draw some lines and let's see if I press the button button if it undoes. Yes, it does. It is, you can you can probably hear it. I'm pressing the buttons and it's undoing what I'm doing. So I got that set up. Now I don't really like this right click either. So I can change it to something else. And what I'm going to change it to is I'm just going to change it to show desktop. So. Um, I can just click on this and now every time I press a button as you can tell it just goes straight down to my desktop let's see what else can I change I'm going to change bamboo dock as well because I don't really want that button to be doing that and what I'm going to change it to is I'm just going to change it to I want to change it to old tab which lets me switch in between my windows so let's just have a look if there is switch application I could do it with keystroke as well but let's see if this works switch application let me just press this yes it does work if I press it as you can tell it's swapping in between so I got all these buttons set up now and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up my pen so this is fairly important to make your pen work just fine so one of the most well the hardest thing is going to be for you is to get used to it obviously that I'll make some 
videos about how to get used to your tablet and all that because it will be a very weird sensation at first when you start using it so you got pen mode which means that the area on your tablet is a basic reference to your image so I mean your screen so if you put your um, pen in the middle of the tablet then your mouse will be in the middle of the screen but obviously your tablet is smaller than your screen so it will be weird to get used to what you can do you can change it to mouse mode which will mean that basically if you pick up your pen from a tablet and put it on the right corner of the tablet it's not going to jump it will just use that point as a reference to move the mouse which could be useful for some of you I don't know it might be strange to get used to first but I'm just going to go with pen mode and then you can come into mapping and you can set how it maps your tablet at the moment as you can tell this is how it works so where your screen is that area of your screen is a reference to this area of your tablet so I'm gonna leave these settings but you can change all these if you want but I'm just gonna leave it as it is now you can um, change the eraser fill to soft from firm I'm just gonna leave it right in the middle now you can set the buttons on your pen as well so you got two buttons you got that one and that one and you can set it to right click pan and scroll that's the default I really like those settings right click is really good in Photoshop because what it lets you do is if you just press that and you're on your brush tool you can just um, quickly change the brushes and select them so that's very useful and again the bottom click is on pan and scroll which is again very useful so you can move around the image fairly easily now you got tip fill as well it's in the middle I'm just gonna leave it right there click sound I don't want any click sound so I'm gonna leave that unchecked double click distance I will leave it in the middle again because it's good for me now you can do touch options but I like the touch how the touch options work and all that so I'm just gonna leave that as it is touch functions now here you can um, set the different um, sort of finger you know finger commands really that you can um, set with the tablet I'm gonna leave them as it is because I don't really use them too much so I really just use the touch to move around in it um, move my mouse around and all that so I'm gonna leave that as it as it is and then we also have pop-up menu that I'm gonna leave as it is so this is basically how you set up your tablet and how you can customize it. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial where I'm going to be showing you different um, exercises really that lets you get used to your tablet a bit easier because it will be very weird at first. Make sure you leave a comment, like, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.